It is the grand finale of Field to Table, brought to you by Wine.com, which can only mean one thing in San Francisco, guys, and that is Ghirardelli Sunday, a San Francisco treat. Rich really is excited, our forever giant judge. Kelly Johnson here with Alex Pavlovich, Anthony Garcia, and it all comes down to wine, gentlemen, and we should not be able to mess this one up. I think you guys will all be pretty good this week. I've done this one before. Yeah. So this, this won't be hard. Hopefully. There's no so, cooking. I don't have to heat anything up. I don't have to touch the stove. I don't have to touch the oven. I don't even have to touch the microwave. I think I'll be okay. Yes, this one should be easy. It's just about creativity uh, to win the judges' points. Uh, so let's start with our wine pairing because naturally with dessert rich, we have a Zinfandel port which as we know, ports uh, made famous in Portugal. But this one is actually from California, uh, north, but kind of close to Sacramento. It's rich, it's sweet, has caramel notes, uh, more alcohol content. We can definitely smell that. Uh, don't have a lot of experience with ports. What about you, Rich? Um, myself, I'm not a huge port drinker, but this goes really well with what you guys are doing today, the ice cream sundae. Like you said, the higher alcohol content, definitely sweeter more of a de more of a dessert one you would have it as an after dinner drink so i mean i would even i wouldn't even be afraid to pour a little bit of this on top of your sunday yes you that's how sweet it is it hint? does make a good topping for ice cream yep. um this is probably out of your box anthony but what do you think about the port i don't know a lot about the port the only thing i know about port is the war song where one guy drinks the port and the other guy drinks the whiskey. That's all I know. Uh, I know it's sweet, and I know you're not supposed to have a lot of it at a time. That's all no. I know. Yeah, higher, higher in alcohol content. Um, Alice, of course, you're you're much more refined, so I'm sure this is right. Down <laughs> of course, <laughs> it's, it's just a regular Tuesday night for me. Right, right. <laughs> Since we're doing uh, Sundays, again, it's about creativity. So I guess, really, we should just start making our, our Sundays for Rich and do kind of a final presentation, or do you guys want to walk us through what you're doing? I think we should just surprise Rich and let him... Uh... I like that idea. This is our ninth episode. I basically should have a Michelin star by now. <laughs> Your apartment's still standing, star. too, which was not guaranteed nine weeks ago. So yeah, exactly. you've done well. I feel like you get a participation star, uh, Anthony. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, we're, we're going to, I thought about actually running just down the street to Ghirardelli and actually getting the real deal and just kind of acting like I made it, but I'm no cheater. I, I'm all about the competition. So let's begin our uh, Sundays and we will have a quick presentation. I'm not going to even give away what I'm doing yet. I'll deliver it at the end. You know, but I feel like I'm at a disadvantage because you see me peeling a banana, so you kind of probably have an idea of what I'm doing already. I have a banana. Oh. Look at you guys with the fruit. The question is, Rich, are you a sweet person? Because not everybody is. Some people are savory sweet. I'm a sweet too. Um, I have to be in the right mood, but I mean, if you're talking Sundays, yeah, I'm totally into that. I usually. I'm not as much a hot fudge guy as I am a caramel, like soft guy. The caramel. Yeah. So I'm I'm more on that side of the flavor profile. So I guess that's more on the savory side. But uh, um, no, ice cream put in front of me, it's gone. Rich, as you know, I've been eating as we go for nine weeks. This is the <laughs> easiest one. Just one scoop in here, one scoop for me. That's it. You're always you're always prepared, Alex, with some finger food for yourself. Right. While you're yeah. So, uh, good news, bad news thing for me, guys. Uh, the bad news is my cut didn't go well, but the good news is I have three other bananas to work with. So one of them, hopefully, will do the trick. Wait, you're what? How do you screw up a banana? Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to ask. I didn't know that there was a way to screw up a banana. It's curved, you know? Why not? Trying to go to long cut for some It says lengthwise. Alright, I think this is okay. Does anyone have an actual ice cream scoop? Because that is something that my kitchen does not own. I may or may not have uh, dropped a scoop of ice cream. We lost this one 
Uh oh, man down, man down. Man, he was a good soldier. Here it is. R.I.P. R.I.P. Our um, fallen comrade. Look at them over there. Is that chocolate sauce, Anthony? Sure is. What do you got? Alex, again, I'll ask this question. I ask Eric, what, what's the best ice cream on the road? You know what? This time I'm actually going to give respect to our home ballpark. I had before. Chop Chop Bowls are excellent. Tony's Piece is excellent. Um, but on Fan Appreciation Day, they bring Ghirardelli's into the press box. Nice. And you will never see a line of reporters <laughs> and TV people <laughs> like the line when they come at noon on, on that day. Oh my god. Uh, it's a given. It's exciting. You wait the whole year, you know, you're going to get a couple of them. You know, I'm just going to narrate mine. I want bananas. I want ice cream. I'm going caramel. Or caramel? Caramel, caramel. Well, however you pronounce it, it's going on my ice cream. I'm going to say, are you a caramel or a caramel kind of person? I say caramel. I say caramel because I'm not pretentious. I, I lose my train of thought when I see it. It looks so good, so I don't even know what I say. Rich, you're the judge this week. Keep in mind, it is a cooking show, not a putting together show. <laughs> I believe my two fellow contestants are just pouring chocolate out of a bottle. I'd like to point out, I made my own. Oh, from <laughs> scratch. Look at brownie, brownie goes. I mean, we actually talked yeah, about this. Are we, gonna, are we gonna do it fresh from scratch? And everybody said, no. Is that our Alex? Alex is over there. I said no comment, no comment. I might as well get into mine because, oh, I already lost. Man down, he's back. Wow, this stuff melts fast, Rich. Get on it, we gotta eat that quickly. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening here? So, oh jeez. No, are you on Rob? Got a little crazy with that. How has nobody shot the whipped cream in their mouth yet? <laughs> good, good. Oh man, whipped cream falling yeah. off. This is the most frazzled I've seen you in the whole nine weeks. I'm telling there. you, the ice cream is melting so fast. Okay. Frazzled. I'm going to give you the whole thing right now. We did. <laughs> Before it melts. Okay, Before it melts. Waffle coming on bottom. Got it. Chocolate sauce. Layer of ice cream. Caramel sauce, layer ice cream, chocolate sauce, macadamia caramel <laughs> chocolates around the the rim, and then you've got your whipped cream, nuts, and a cherry on top. See the caramel macadamia clusters, the nice oh. waffle oh, cone on bottom. Wow, this just happened so fast. All right, so I added chocolate syrup. I like sprinkles on my Rich. I hope you like sprinkles. I'm gonna add some sprinkles. Can't go wrong with sprinkles. Rainbow confetti, confetti. And you know what, Rich? Just for you, I'm gonna do this Cold Stone style, baby. Throw some M and M's on these bad boys. Throw a little oh, M and M's. <laughs> and Richie, the cherry on top. That's not a metaphor. I'm actually gonna put a cherry on top. The cherry on top is the cherry on top. There we go. A little maraschino cherry. A lot of maraschino cherries. Okay, y'all done yet? Because, I mean, ice cream is of the essence, man. We gotta get to judging. I'm done. I saw one. I had one Ready? last surprise to be rich. Oh. oh. Okay, bring it. Rich, the key to baseball, you want to peak at the end of the year. You want to peak in the World Series. You don't want to do it in the sixth inning, as Anthony might have done. You want to bring the helmet out the last week. Oh, good! Oh, that was my yeah. idea! A Giants helmet, you're not a Giants helmet. You're taking my idea! I mean, uh, you're right. The helmet is for Sundays. You're right. I said it before, uh, Anthony. Helmets are for Sundays. Also, I have a lot of food for two of them. Anthony, get, get yours so I can see it. I can't see it. If we're doing, the name of the show is Field to Table, right? So what what do you think you're going to get at a ballpark? Um, I mean, i got to go back to when I was a kid when I'd ask my dad all the time, can I get one of them helmets with the ice cream in it? So i got to go helmet. I'm sorry. I would eat every single one of those in a heartbeat, and probably all three of them at the same time. It's so good. But i got to go back. 
to the ballpark with the helmet. And I wish, I wish you would have made it, Alex, in a boat size helmet because I would have eaten all that too. <laughs> Hard to find. That would have been I the know. entire ice cream. That would cost like fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, By the way, I'm gonna try the port on regular ice cream. See how that yeah, works. Yeah, just try it on that vanilla. Just plain vanilla. A little port on top. That's delicious. I bet you this is good. You probably even heat it up a little bit, you know, to burn some of the alcohol off it, and it's just sweet. Who wants to burn alcohol off? <laughs> I will say. Oh, yeah. Uh, delicious. I think, we're, I think we're all winners because we get ice cream, but I think yeah. I'm especially a winner this season because I didn't burn my kitchen down. Okay. I didn't get food poisoning. True. That, that's key. You got a participation that's star, and you didn't burn your house down. I will take it. And Alex is finishing strong with the win on the grand finale of Alex. Field to Table. We got it all. Gentlemen, this has been fun. Guys, we're Learned awesome. a little about wine, learned a lot about deep fryers, and that Rich Aurelia, the way to his heart and his stomach is bacon, carne asada, and an ice cream helmet. And suck up to him. And, and, <laughs> and do it, do it Alex does. Brown noser. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys. Bye. There it is. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs>